touching on your relationship with evolution capital, where previously have you worked with evolution capital in both the buy and sell side? Well, I guess we've come across you as a, a kind of well-respected partner for uh, a lot of the consolidators in the UK. We've dealt with you guys now on three transactions. No, actually two transactions. Our last two acquisitions, Connexus, you acted as sell side. I think we were very impressed with the level of preparedness and support you offered for what was quite a, a large um, vendor pool. I think there were, there were five directors there. It was very clear that you had their ear and their trust. And that really led us to, uh, when we were looking at our last acquisition, to engage with you and to benefit ourselves for, from that experience. I think yeah, this is a very close knit community, um, yeah. and you know, despite the fact we're we're all running different businesses at different stages of their their kind of cycle, actually a lot of people in this industry, in this community, you know, know and respect each other, and you know, I certainly know that you, you've worked very closely for a number of years with a number of other business owners and leaders that I have a huge amount of respect for, and I think the way they talk about you in the community when you're not in the room um, also gave me a lot of confidence that yeah both in terms of your kind of technical expertise and, and just your culture and ways of working that you know it'd be a really good fit you've achieved for them and i've got a lot of respect for them which i think gives us more yeah immediate confidence through that network of relationships so on the buy side when you're looking to engage with an advisor what are the key expectations you look for there so we've got to work with advisors that have the same ethos, have the same personality, and I'll actually make sure the transaction is not just a really good experience for us, but a really good experience for the sellers as well. And I think the other thing around advice is sector knowledge is hugely important. You know, to be able to short circuit some of the conversations, to be able to have meaningful conversations, to be able to interpret what you're hearing. Mm-hmm. I think that deeper level of you know, industry expertise, the experience of being able to roll your sleeves up, get into billing data, know what the products and services are, know what the industry trends are, you know, know what the kind of market landscape's looking for, know what we're going to want to do as we continue to invest and grow in the businesses we've acquired after completion. Being able to bring that all together is really valuable with what you guys do for us as well. One of the reasons we wanted to engage you is having had you know, a really good, positive experience through um, our, I guess our collective work on the Connexus acquisition is we wanted to you know, benefit from that clear industry and kind of functional expertise um, on, on a buy side transaction. So you know, it was our first buy side transaction together. I think we were really pleasantly surprised um, about how well the engagement went overall. S- certainly that transparency and clarity around you know the dynamics of the business we saw that from uh, a bias perspective but i think what was equally obvious was the trust uh, that the sellers put in ec uh, and it was it, it was nice to almost work in partnership with you guys as the sell side to get that transaction done because it was very clear that you were leading the you were leading uh, the vendors as well, so that, that made the whole transaction, you know, less confrontational and, and very much more a partnership. Yeah. So, how, how did the Evolution Capital Transaction team work with you to understand the potential opportunity and therefore the risks as the sort of engagement went on? I think as you tackled that FDD assignment on our latest acquisition, using you spent a lot of time trying to understand their products and the way their billing platform interface with their um, with their ERP. I think in the end that gave you the confidence to present to me, present to Windsor, the financials in a really clear and co- coherent way. You know, the recurring, non-recurring product mix and product cl- classifications. It was clear from you know, like a lot of these, like a lot of these small businesses, you know, they don't always have professional, fi- you know, professional finance teams. So you had to do a lot of unpicking work there to kind of make sense of those numbers. That was intensive from a time and kind of critical thinking perspective. You know, very clear vision of the end state of what you needed to present back to us in terms of a, a report for our investors and for and for our board to consider. You know, was very clearly thought through and well presented. What do you think? 
<clears throat> maybe yourself and Pete and some wider Windsor learnt through that transaction from understanding the business up front and you know helping us interpret that sort of pre-offer to the offer that we make and then taking it through the DD process I think you know it's really important that we stick to all of our commitments and actually the advice that you get being appropriate for each stage of that conversation really helps us in order to be confident to do that I think sometimes sellers also have this sense that a buyer's going to want to chip them or going to try and want to sort of erode value. And, you know, certainly that's genuinely not something we want to do or have ever done in a process. So by being able to understand as much as possible, as early as possible, that allows us to have those collaborative conversations and stick to our commitments as we go through the process. One of the things we really love about EC as a team is that they genuinely want us to have a positive outcome and don't necessarily stay like FDD can be quite functional and you're kind of stuck in an FDD lane. I mean, one of the things we really valued is when you were prepared to sort of come out of that lane a bit and help us, whether that's, you know, help us on sort of managing points on the legal or managing points on the SPA or just corralling other people to make sure that you're keeping momentum in the process. And I think that mindset of we want this to be a you know, really good collaborative experience for everybody and we're prepared to stretch out of what might be our kind of functional scope on paper when it's the right thing to do and just sort of lean in as part of the team and keep driving that pace and momentum that's really important to us and that you know that counts for a lot on a personal level yeah so certainly this but you know the personal effort you put in some i think was really appreciated that was kind of as Pete said, uh, you know, above and beyond the scope, and that re that was really helpful around getting the some of the deal mechanics locked down and finalised. You know, and that was, I guess, testament to you know the the transaction expertise that EC has, but also the kind of yeah the well your well ne networked relationship with other advisors across kind of FDD and and, and legal services. Let's be honest, right? The world isn't short of accountants. But accountants that you know, have a personality are, you know, our gold dust to work with, frankly. Uh, <laughs> and, and it is about the people at the end of the day, you know, yourself, Duncan, you know, we're all a mirror of what Nigel's built with the organisation over a number of years. Uh, fundamentally, it comes down to just working with decent people. You know, through the challenges and, and the time that you guys invested, I think we're really pleased with the, with the end result in terms of you know the quality of the finished report and the insights that that gave us I, I think if i was to sort of summarize the value of the ec analytics platform is fdd tends to be backward looking whereas the analytics platform flips it into something that's forward looking yeah certainly building you know data warehouse data lakes you know that that is a challenge that, that many businesses have to get that true understanding really granular understanding of um, custom, customer and product profitability and I think Power BI is definitely going to be uh, and, the, and the data analytics platform that, that ET have built is certainly going to be a part of that solution. A, a kind of FDD assignment does come to, to, to a logical end and the logical end is you know I guess the output of that is is a what you'd expect is a really high quality report. I think it was very clear the amount of time and effort that you, Sam, and, and the Charlie and Duljan, the rest of the EC team had put, in it, put into that, you know, that was very well received by our investors and our board, and certainly a really helpful document to um, to get us all comfortable with the, with the latest acquisition. I'd confidently recommend you know EC both on buy side and sell side. You know, the fact that we've worked with you on both sides of the table. Um, and we've collaborated on our own, in, you know, internal projects. Um, it should be no surprise that, you know, to our sort of friends and colleagues in the industry, would have no hesitation in recommending you to do the same for them. We've really enjoyed working with Evolution on, on the kind of buy side and sell side. It's clear that Nigel and the rest of the team have really invested a lot of time in kind of finding, retaining, recruiting really good talent. And uh, yeah, look for, they're a, a joy to work with.